Everybody wants to save a buck. We use Groupon to get better deals at restaurants and then never go back there again. We share Netflix usernames because why pay $12 a month when we can get that for free? And when we show up to family gatherings, we usually bring a bag of chips or beer just for us. Not you, though. Everyone else does that. The point is, we're all a little cheap sometimes, but that's the American way. Today, we're going to talk about the cheapest cities in America. Now, by cheap, I'm referring to the cost of living in these places. So if you're a cheapskate, you'd fit right in. Ideally, people want to move to cheap cities so they can afford to live without stress. Some people are just fine with cheap living. If that's you, then pay attention, mister. You might want to move one day, so you'll be ahead of the game. So, turn up the volume on your outdated phones and laptops as we bring you America's cheapest cities. I'm not a good tipper. I'm really cheap. I drive a really old car. I'm really cheap. I eat a lot of leftovers. I'm really cheap. Why the hell would I get cable? I'm really cheap. I bought my couch on Craigslist. I'm really cheap. I like to cut my own hair. I'm really cheap. I never pay for parking. I'm really cheap. All right, let's be in here. So we're pretending to be super duper cheap today, right? So that means our car is going to be a real beater. The reality of the situation is this is our car for this video. Where are we heading first? To the cheap city of Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines has a lot going on, right? No? If this is an indication of the types of places we're going to see today, we can already begin to see why these cities are so cheap. The reason Des Moines is so cheap is because of its home price to income ratio and its income to rent ratio. Basically, how much money do you make and how much does it cost to live there? Here in Des Moines, both numbers are in the bottom 10 in the US. For instance, the average household income in Des Moines is $50,000 and the average cost of a home is about $133,000. So that means your home price to income index is about 2.5. That means the average family can pay off their entire home in two and a half years if they only use their working incomes to make their house payments. That's hardly any time at all, huh? We're going to take our car all the way down to Pasadena, Texas, our ninth cheapest city. You can bet the people in Pasadena sneak in candy to the movies. This is one cheap place. Now, if you thought the home prices in Des Moines made it super affordable to live there, it's even cheaper to live here in Pasadena. The home price ratio is 2.2 times income, so you could buy a home and in two years and a couple months, pay the whole thing off. Of course, that doesn't mean people here make a lot of money. The average income is 50k a year. Now, if you rolled into Pasadena, Texas making 100k a year, you would be like the richest person in town. However, that cheapness comes at a price. Pasadena ranks as the 39th worst place to live in the US, right above Buffalo, New York. Hey, we're not saying these are great places to live, are we? They're cheap. And unlike Des Moines, which is cheap and kind of charming, Pasadena is just cheap. We don't have to go very far at all to get to our next cheapest city. This is Amarillo, Texas in the Texas Panhandle, where people don't mess around when it comes to saving money or something. Here in Amarillo, the home cost to income ratio is two years and five months. That's dirt cheap. Now let's compare that to our most expensive city in the nation, Los Angeles. Here, the average household incomes are only about $55,000, but the cost of a home here is way out of whack at $560,300. Meaning while in Amarillo, a family could pay off a new home in 2.5 years, in Los Angeles, a family would have to take 10 years to pay off their home, which likely has a tiny yard. But what a difference. Actually, California has 16 of the 20 most expensive cities to live in America. And we wonder why there are so many California refugees. Amarillo has 200,000 people, so it's not a tiny place. And it has a lot of very blue collar manufacturing jobs. It's also home to Cadillac Ranch, where those Cadillac cars are all stacked up out in the desert. And Amarillo is home to a place called the Big Texan Steak Ranch, where you get a free steak if you can eat the whole thing. It's 72 ounces though, or about five pounds. Apparently about one in seven people who try it win, but six of seven people wind up paying for their steaks, which costs $72. And that's certainly not cheap. Our vintage car is chugging along as we go back to Iowa again. Is this all gonna be in Iowa and Texas? And cruise into Davenport, 
our seventh cheapest city in the country. Sure, homes are cheap here, about 124,000 bucks, but in Davenport, it's the rent to income ratio that really stands out. The rent to income ratio is explained like this. Your annual income, in this case for Davenport, it's $49,000, is divided by your monthly rent, which in Davenport's about $730. That's a 67.3 times difference. That means you can pay your rent 67 times each year in Davenport. That's good for the 16th highest number in the nation. Davenport folks also have some of the cheapest groceries and utility bills too. I hate it that Map is so cheap. He makes us all share the same phone plan. I'm always out of data. Really? Well, a lot of families share family phone plans. Mappy's saving money so you and the kids can buy a home one day. I want to buy a home in Davenport. The aliens flooded on purpose. Aliens? Yes, big UFOs. We look it up. Oh, God. More wacky research from you two? Okay, we're moving on. And we're moving on to Cedar Rapids, Iowa? Seriously? Another city in Iowa. Well, it makes sense when you look at Cedar Rapids' rent-to-income ratio. You thought Davenport had cheap rent. Here in Cedar Rapids, you could pay for 78 months of rent with one household salary. That's the sixth most in America. And Cedar Rapids is actually a pretty cool place, people. Now let's compare that to the most expensive rent to income ratio city in America, Patterson, New Jersey, where your income to rent is 31, which means you could only pay rent 31 times in one year. That means it's more than twice as expensive as Cedar Rapids. New York City is actually far less expensive than Patterson. The average family here brings in a little bit more money at 58K a year, but it costs about 1,700 a month for rent. Of course, in San Francisco, it's like a jillion dollars a month for rent, but households are far wealthier, bringing in about 96 k a year. Anyways, back to Cedar Rapids. They enjoy the cheapest public utilities in the nation too, where a family can expect to pay only about 100 bucks a month for all the basics. Of course, that doesn't include internet. As you know, they're ripping all of us off for really slow internet, and we continue to pay because we have no choice. <laughs> Time for today's news break, I'm Skip Fritzman. Today we're talking about cheap cities. You know what's not cheap? The price of milk. That's because in China, people are drinking more of it, which is driving up the cost around the world. There's a lot of dairy farmers in Iowa who are very happy about that fact. And that's our news break, I'm Skip Fritzman. Well, let's hop in the beater and go to our next cheapest city. Wichita Falls, Texas. Okay, is somebody playing a joke on us? Because I feel like somebody's playing a joke on us. I'm not playing a joke on you, Nick. It just so happens that Iowa and Texas are some of the cheapest places to live in the country. So, Mappy, I saw your wife in Davenport, and she said you're cheap. Well, hell yeah, I'm cheap. I have four kids and a dog to take care of. Plus, she's always wanting the latest thing. She wants an iWatch. That's like one week of my whole salary. Sorry, Mappy. Hey, what if I surprised her with an iWatch? Would that make her happy? you do that? Yes, I would. And I will. So let's see what happens when we see Mrs. Mappy next. But for now, let's go to our next stop, which better be somewhere outside of Iowa or Texas. And it is. For the first time, we're taking this vintage automobile somewhere else, up to Rockford, Illinois. So while some of these Iowa communities are actually charming, Rockford's a real mess. The big reason it's one of the cheapest cities to live in the country is that it's a real ghetto. That's one reason home prices are the fourth lowest in the nation, where a family could pay off their home in two years' time. However, property taxes are through the roof here, about 800 a month. When you consider how cheap groceries and other necessities are, if it wasn't for the taxes, Rockford would top this list. People in Illinois are leaving in droves because of high taxes alone. They're Illinois. Right down the road from Rockford is an even cheaper place to live, Springfield, the capital of Illinois. While housing costs are a little bit more here, the average family brings in about 52 k a year in Springfield, which goes a long way when your rent's only about 700 bucks. In actuality, it makes far more sense to rent a home in Springfield or in Illinois and save on property taxes. In fact, you're almost incentivized to do so. You would basically get a $10,000 a year raise if you sold your home and rented in this state. Blame Chicago, Illinois. 
Okay, so we're almost done with our cheap tour of America. Our second to last stop brings us to Topeka, Kansas. There isn't a city in America where it's cheaper to get groceries. Topeka's rent is far below average. You could pay rent about 61 times with your salary. And the housing costs are really down there too, where the average family could pay off their homes in about two years and two months. For a state capital, living here is a real steal. Did you know Topeka changed its name to Google once? What? Is that really true or are you guys messing with me again? Oh, I guess it is true. That's interesting. Hey, so I'm glad I saw you again. You said Mappy's cheap, but he told me you wanted an iWatch, so we got one for you. Here it is. That's not an iWatch. It isn't? It's fake. Oh, are you sure? Because the guy said it was real. Oh, sorry about that. That was a good one, but she's going to let me hear about that later. Good, Mappy. We're on the same side. Best buds. Okay, so we're just about done. Where's our cheapest city to live in the USA? It's probably going to be a bit of a surprise. Or maybe not. It's Fort Wayne, Indiana. This little jewel up in the northern corner of the state can't brag about a lot, but it can hang its hat on being the most affordable place to live in the country for all cities with more than 100,000 people. In Fort Wayne, you can pay off your home in two years and four months, or pay rent 67 times a year. Plus, as you might presume, since this is Indiana and all, taxes are relatively low, as are standard living expenses. The smartest thing to do would be to work from home, earning a high salary, and just renting here. You could save a lot of money in very little time doing that in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Of course, it's Fort Wayne, but the economy's not doing too badly here. There's a decent number of manufacturing and healthcare jobs. It's not gonna wow you, but you'd be entertained for a little while, I guess. Okay, there you go. The cheapest cities to live in America, the places where you can live the most comfortably on your incomes. And as we always do, let's quickly show the most expensive cities in America. So I hope you learned something. We did. The next time you're in over your head with bills, wondering why you paid all that money for a worthless college degree and lamenting that new car purchase you just made, remember this. You could always move somewhere in the Midwest. No? Okay then. The end. You take your family out to eat, you go to Denny's. When you get the bill, you always try to count your pennies. All the brands that you're buying are generic. Your jacket's full of holes and it's so old, but you still wear it. I'm not a good tipper. I'm really cheap. I drive a really old car. I'm really cheap. I eat a lot of leftovers. I'm really cheap. Why the hell would I get cable? I'm really cheap. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.